Shit, what's this podcast called? Discourse of Human Events. The, the discourse is just crazy, crazy, crazy. Everything's okay, I'm just trying to wag my age. Yeah, I wanna know. One, two, three, flashlight. Okay. All right. So last time we were talking about social rules, right? Mm-hmm. Because uh, at one podcast I said I think you had to be seven car lengths away, and if the return cart wasn't there, I wasn't returning it. Yeah. Right. And then I'm not the asshole. It's the store, right? And I'm so, not being a jerk. Yeah, for sure. And that yeah. And that made you. We brought up like the whole calling you should only call basically your significant other or parents out of the blue or if you're like supposed to meet somebody and you need to like call them for like if they don't show up or some kind of like a call should be expected in a situation yeah. those are the only ways you should call people yeah call before texting you can text yeah. hey we need to discuss a specific issue or talk about this and then call unprompted but otherwise you have to give like yeah. notice now, I talked like about that with you. Nicole, and she brought up, like, her and some of her close friends do call each other out of the blue. So I think it's also, weird, like, no. that kind of falls under the, or if they, like, that's somebody who is expected, like, expects that out of you. Yeah. That's fine. Okay. So that's an addition to it. Now, Nick, okay. I, I saved this story because you uh-huh. said we were talking about this, and I said... Uh-huh. Josh called me out of the blue one time, and I was like, what happened, right? It was like like 1.30 yeah. a.m., a- a- and obviously Josh calling me is like, what the hell's happening? Yeah, he's. I don't think he's ever once called me out of the blue. So what's the story? Yeah, yeah go on. So he called me, uh-huh. and I called him back because obviously it was 1.30 in the morning. I'm like, what the fuck are you? <laughs> so I called back, and I also yeah. got a call from a restricted number, so I didn't know who else was calling me. So there's two phone calls yeah. that I missed. I call, okay. and he's like, why are the Columbus police calling me about you? I'm like, what? <gasps> Is this a scam? No. No, it's not. So, what? What? you remember my car, Uwaga? The car I got before your car? The... No. Oh, the real piece of shit? Yeah. Yeah. So I what sold it. it. Uh-huh. I signed the title for the person so they could sign over the title to themselves. Mm-hmm. They never mm-hmm. did it. Their car got stolen in the middle of the night and got in a wreck, and they abandoned it. But I was still listed as the owner. So they're okay. calling me to tell me, like, my car was stolen. Huh? Oh. So they called me in the middle of the night, and apparently somehow, like, the first number in their system besides mine was, was Josh's. Why? I don't know. That's the Probably weirdest Probably your part. emergency contact number at some point? Uh, no, I've never no, listed Josh's list, number was, as emergency contact number. You list mom number. or dad, right? Yes. Oh, the 419-347 number. I won't finish yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I don't know then. Well, why, yeah, that is weird. Did he co-sign something for you? or No. He... That's why I don't understand. It's weird. <sighs> that is weird. Uh... Maybe the person just looking up your your like family members, and then Josh appears to be the first. He, that might be is it. he Alpha? No, Alan. No, Edward. You know, Edward Alan should is, still be first. It yeah. might just be like he clicked the first. Like he just clicked one, two, whatever. Yeah, yeah, just clicked a random one. Family member, not mm-hmm. necessarily the first. Or one. maybe because he was Columbus area at one point. Maybe. Well, I guess all of us oh, were. That could. Yeah. I don't know. That doesn't make that's right? weird. <laughs> that's the biggest question I have of the whole thing is why was Josh the number one to call? Oh yeah. So speaking mm. of random call number, at one time at one AM 
I I got a phone call. Okay. Uh huh. And I didn't pick it up because it's unknown number. Yeah. And usually it's a yeah. Scam you never call. pick up unknown numbers normally. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. And I didn't pick up. They keep calling. Uh-huh. And uh, uh, eventually I pick it up, and then it's a a lady that's asking me something about do I know this person? Uh-huh. And I was like, no. And I said, you got the wrong number. And then she's like, no, I got the number right. <laughs> <laughs> that was like, oh, what am I that's supposed not, to say? That's not how that works. <laughs> Just because the number you dialed is correct. No, she was asking for a man's name. Yeah, Yeah, she was asking for a a, like obviously a white guy's name. Oh, (laughs) that's when you go. He's with me now, and then you hang up. (laughs) 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 And she proceeded to ask, "Do you know this and this and this?" Like I never heard of those names before. (laughs) I'm with them too. (laughs) So that's a. That's a personal rule I have with my phone is I basically don't answer any number not already in my phone. Yeah. Yeah. That's and if it's like true. a 614 yeah. number, I might check the voicemail. And that's if a mic. If I'm expecting something. If I'm expecting yeah, something. Yeah, or if I'm expecting a call, but that's very rare. Yeah, like, like yeah. For right now, I contact a lot of uh, person. Yeah, so you expect calls. Call yep. something, so I'm expecting people. Calling. During that, you pick them up. Yeah, that or actually caused a problem. Enough. When I started working mm. from home the first time, mm-hmm. because there's an authentication system to get onto the VPN at home, so it mm-hmm. caused your number, and you have to put in a thing. At some point, I blocked it because it called me, <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't recognize the number, and so the VPN wouldn't ever connect because it would never call me, and I had to like go, oh shit, I blocked the VPN number. Mm-hmm. So now I recognize the number though. And yeah. I blocked it. Uh, who's spamming me? <laughs> <laughs> like, come on. You couldn't, like, put this in a thing so it automatically, like, tells me who's calling? Like, uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm quite the opposite. Every time I saw a 614 number that I don't recognize, it's a scam. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I will check the voicemail of a 614 number. That's another, but because my number is four one nine though, so like that's another. That's another rule that like, text before you call voicemails. I'm done. I'm done. I don't check your voicemails. I I have not. I I don't even know how to access my voicemail anymore. I have not checked a voicemail in five years. Have not checked it. Yeah. You know what? Dad at some point left a voicemail for me, and I called back immediately. Like I called back, and he's like, "Yeah, did you get my voicemail?" I'm like. Yeah, but I didn't listen to it. What's going on? This is why I called back. <laughs> exactly. The voicemails are done. I, I swear, I have not tried to check a voicemail in five years. Yep. Same. I feel like if they really trying to reach you, they will leave you a voicemail. Usually it's like uh, your doctor appointment. Yeah. Or uh, some other stuff. Yep. Like they have a package for you or something. Mm. Same. Scan call usually don't left a message. All right, so mm. what, what rules have you come up with? What are other rules? Did, did you have a rule or just a story? Well, no, I just had the story to start with. I had other r- rules, but that was one I just thought of in the moment of a personal rule. Uh, okay, just thinking about the the uh, putting back the carts. Uh-huh. And Nicole, the saint, says no matter how far she's going to put it back. Yes. So my question was, what about putting back an item at a store? Mm. Like you bought something, you returning go around. an item that like yeah, like you, you go, go to check out, and you don't want to return it, or yeah, you yeah, don't yeah, want it, you, want it. Like you're not in the checkout line, or is that the like is that the cutoff? If you're in the checkout line, you're not gonna Ooh. go return it to the shelf. I kind of no, want to hear her answer on this to too. When uh, what is the distance for when? I feel like if yeah. I'm at the checkout line, no, <laughs> I'm not. You're in. It, you have to be in the line. What if you're at the very end? What do you mean? As in you, so like you're not like there's not a person behind you. No, if I'm at the checkout so line, it's over. Place. It's over. I'm, you're just I'm gonna s- put it wherever the nearest thing is. Yeah, I might actually hand it to the person there. I've done that before. Yeah, just hand it to the cashier. Like I don't want. Oh, this. that's just giving them a job. It's like here, take care of my shit for me. You are correct. Dude, I have no qualms over you this. They have, the they literally have a, like little shelves with like go backs. You know. 
for them to okay. throw that in. Now, if it's meat or something, yeah, that, that was, was my next question. What if it's frozen or something? I That's different. Then is it something that can spoil Then you're getting out of the check line. You're not being that much of a dick. Yeah. yeah. Cause I hate to see those people who left the frozen stuff in a regular area, like frozen fish was put into the regular grocery area. And, and some assholes think they're being kind, and they'll throw a frozen mm-hmm. thing in a refrigerated section. And it's like that's still yeah. not that's like not gonna right. help. <laughs> but but what is it? You have to be in a checkout line if you're anywhere else, like the furthest away you can be from the section. It's not frozen. It's just some item. You will go all the way back. I feel like most of the time I will. And I think that's just because I worked in retail. Sometimes. Sometimes I, I won't. I think it might be a mood yeah. thing, but I think my personal I would say I'd I agree should. with you. It's am I feeling lazy? Yeah. Like, or if I'm in a rush, I will not. That's true. If I'm but in if, a rush. If we're but just, that's kind of a mood thing. If we're just out and about and, like, we're there to waste time anyways, because sometimes you're just out there, like... What do you want to do? Well, we have nothing. Let's go shopping or something. Then I'll yeah. go back because what do I care anyways? Yeah. I, I usually always put, like, the frozen stuff back. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do that. Fridge stuff always back and hot stuff. Okay. Always Here's a question, though. Okay, you're yeah. in the I, I'm in a rush mood. Mm-hmm. Okay. You want to get out. You have somewhere to be. Mm-hmm. You have frozen. Mm-hmm. Then you don't want to uh, put it back, right? Yeah. Are you okay to put it in a frozen section, but not where it belongs? Yeah, that's fine. Mm-hmm. Okay. Wow. To me, that's you fine. will. Will yeah. you? I wouldn't. I would put the you frozen item back. back in the frozen part where it came from, especially if I'm close. But but why does that make sense? Because if you're in a rush and you said like you have some item, you're fine to put it back anywhere. Like if you're in the mood, you'll just be like, I'm yeah, in a yeah, rush. Yeah, I'll yeah, put it back yeah, whatever. yeah. So if I'm in the mood, doesn't apply to if it's a frozen item and I don't no, want it. No, that was the question. I, I will return it to if, a frozen place. No, that I won't that break where that. it doesn't belong. Yeah, but it looks. I don't know. I just feel like the frozen sections are more like segregated. I don't know. Like you know, they're usually they're like it looks weird putting spots. ice cream on a pack of peas. But if I put, you know, I'm fine with that. They are, this is how your I put M and M's on, you know, a stack. Organized of, anyway. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe yeah. Yeah. Well, what's know. gonna happen? Maybe what do you crazy. think they're gonna meld together and create the no, ice cream just peas looks or like something? Weird. I don't know. Because <laughs> you gotta go to the effort. Like, okay. there's a door then there. You, you gotta open way. it to see it. If you grab a tampon that you don't need matter. and put it back to the food section. No, that's a bit... Uh, oh, yeah, okay. Is there anything like that? Any rule like that that you won't, like... Say you have condoms. Are you just putting that with a cereal because you're in a rush? Well, first off, I question you're me like, needing these condoms, condoms are way and being too like, big. you know I what? I don't need them dick. anymore. Now I'm going to put these back. <laughs> I'm not... You know what? I, I came here to side. get condoms. I decided after all, I want the baby. <laughs> maybe it's the other way around okay you have cereal you 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 picked up your food now you're buying condoms do i put the cereal in the condom yeah i I just remembered yeah i just remembered i i already have this cereal at home i didn't run out i forgot (laughs) completely i don't need this so you put it back and you put it with the condoms Okay. Or shampoo. Whatever. Yeah, I feel like if I'm dumping an item, it doesn't matter where I'm dumping it. it no rules. No. Anything goes. Except okay. except for the refrigerated slash expiration thing. Because I will always return that if I need. Okay. Uh, like, I, I feel it's kind of tricky, right? Yeah. Cereal in condom section. Fine. Condom is cereal section. Wrong. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's going yeah. to cereal section. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was just going to ask... <laughs> if you have like a porno that, mag there's like no i was thinking like vaginal infection cream or something <laughs> and you're like putting it in the toy section no, 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 no. i don't know why you're returning that you should probably apply that i got a better <laughs> one you're like the vaginal section metal. cream it, you you grab it and you need no, no, no. and you're K-Y getting jelly. toothpaste yeah. you don't dump it with a toothpaste <laughs> well that doesn't say anything on it that i don't know what kids know what ky jelly is mm, yeah i guess the parents probably of, don't want to explain that some of them has like 
please elaborate. Package. Oh, oh, condoms have for her pleasure. Mommy, what does that mean? What kind of cereal? At this point, I think I want to dump those items in that section now. <laughs> make, I'll dump make it in the toy aisle. More interesting. <laughs> Can you imagine some people dump the lube right next to Sesame Street? I'm just saying. <laughs> it's a bad connotation here. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good rule because that's definitely something that comes up. Like, you're mm. that happens all the time in the store. Especially here's another thing that happens. Mm-hmm. I go to get like we go shopping. Like Nicole and I have done yeah. this. We go shopping. We have like maybe one item that we're kind of like almost impulse buying, and then we go to check uh-huh. out, and the line's fucking huge. You know, like ah oh, fuck this. Yeah. Like I don't want to. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It happens and to then, us before. <laughs> you know, like, it's that, not worth that. Exactly. That's just to toss to the side eye and walk out. Because at that point, you've given up. Yeah. Because mm. sometimes in Black Friday, right? Like, we, we went out just for people watching and stuff. Mm-hmm. And then we happened to pick up some stuff. Black like, Friday, the, I feel it's anything line. goes. Yeah, Black, Black Friday, Friday is chaos. The rules are out I feel the like window. you can just go and switch things just for fun <laughs> and you're not an asshole. Dude, you know it's, what I just it's, realized? Like, the whole point is chaos. What? I think stores need to have little basket areas of items you didn't want mm. where you can dump them. Probably. And that mm. way they're, like, confined to sections that they can walk by and pick up. But here's the thing, Zach. Or does that increase the behavior? I guess I don't know your answer mm-hmm. to the, the cart question. Are you with me on the seven cars and maybe it's a different car length? No, I always return. Okay, but why is that? Why do you always return? But you're okay with like, ah, I'm in a rush. I'm just going to put this, uh, I want to put this item over here. Well, because me not huh? returning an it's item doesn't thing. cause dents to a, some random person's car possibly. Oh, no, 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 no. No, I, 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 you, you, no. I, like, if there's a curb, I put it up. I'm not trying to be an asshole. Yeah, but that's not yeah. always available in a parking lot. Mm, no, then you. Yeah, I'm not gonna be a total dick. And also, if I have a car, there's usually a way you can put it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Gonna hit anything. I make that effort. But this is also a motivation. I'm just not chucking it at some random like (laughs) direction. (laughs) I try very hard not to dent people's car. I don't want to be that asshole. But there's big differences here. So like, there's a motivation. If if I've have the cart, I've put away my groceries. I've already taken the effort to do all the stuff to begin with. If I'm dumping an item, it usually means I don't want to take the effort to go do the extra thing. You know what I mean? Like, There's I'm no already difference. motivated. There's no real difference other than in your head. Yeah, well, that's how the psychology works, doesn't head. it? <laughs> yes, but it's completely in your head. Yes. Mm. Yeah. And okay. also, I feel like that- I usually park close enough to one of those things anyways it's usually not a issue see part of this is i actually park like i don't like parking near other cars like i want the easiest parking i can find so i just park as far away as possible see, you're like where there's no other cars kind of a little bit yeah because i don't want to be near other people I, like it's just easier and i don't mind yeah. walking except when it's to return a cart then i mind walking <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, that's like Nick's that. logic. <laughs> next, next social rule. Oh, okay. This is another because I was on stores. So, what about dressing for where you're going? Dressing for. So, like, I always have this where, like, okay, I'm going to Walmart and I'm in like. What's the proper uh, dress wear? Yeah, like, like I'm in sweatpants and not like nice sweatpants, but like the the one you got out of the five dollar bin. Uh huh. And if it's Walmart. And if it's definitely nighttime, I'll be like, I don't care. But I'm not going to walk into Whole Foods like that. I'm not going to go to a nicer restaurant like that. I feel like almost always I change into some kind of pants or shorts. I, now, pajamas, I will go to a gas station in pajamas. A gas station? Yes. Into, pump gas or into the actual No, store? into the store. Into that's the like, store, really? Yeah, because that's like a quick trip. 
Like, Chloe says no. She's like, I wouldn't do that. That She thinks you're, you are a caveman. <laughs> you, she would judge you. She would judge you hard. I don't, That's I don't fine. I pajama outside the house. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah, I, I've never worn pajamas outside the house. Never? Pajamas. No. Um, you know, okay, here's, I will wear, like, do you consider it a white undershirt pajamas? No. That's another no. thing. I'm talking like, like pajama like, pants. You have to have pants, like. You know, like, I've walked outside my house with pajama pants. That's it. I've never gone to a, like a store with pajama yeah, pants. Yeah, I go to like our local or gas store. station it's if I'm doing a quick like house. run. I want like an energy drink or I want like ice cream or something. Nope, nope, no, 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 no you pajamas. Gotta change the I want pajamas. You, you I just got, refuse yes, to be in public with paj- pajama pants. Yeah, there's just something that's like. Something's wrong. Nicole says good pants. for you, man. This I think I'm being judged by Nicole for my pants. the times I've been in a gas station with the channel pants. <laughs> yeah, that's end of the day pants. But then again, like I wear uh you know gym shorts as pajamas, but I will go out to in gym shorts. Yeah, okay, that that's true. I don't wear pajama pants, but gym shorts uh, I somewhat consider like That's those are pajama be. pants. That's the end of the day for me. I'm putting on gym shorts. Yeah, but, but you'll you go to go the same places gym with shorts. gym shorts, not pajama pants. That's why I don't get yeah, it. Yeah. What? No. Like Walmart, gas station. I won't go to other places. I would. So, gym shorts? So for you, shorts gym fun. shorts yeah. you will wear at a gas station in Walmart, but not pajama yeah. pants ever. I don't have those five No, not pajama shorts. pants. <laughs> pajama pants were like... There was an earthquake and I had to get out of the house. Yeah, There's no place you, know, you pajama, will go to in public pants. with pajama pants. No, but like, no. It's what about a pajama, pajama pants party? With and a, a bunny on it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I will. I will wear a tuxedo to a pajama pants party. <laughs> That'd be actually be pretty like, funny. Like, you have, like cute little patterns on it. It's like yeah. It's no, and so yeah. Chloe has cute little like cats on her pajama pants so it is uh-huh. a little silly i just have the checkerboard old man boring yeah exactly pants, same. But still it just it just says so gym shorts here's the difference gym shorts i could have been exercised and i'm way too fat they assume i wasn't <laughs> <laughs> but pajama pants there's no possible illusion there's no illusion <laughs> But they I feel all, like everyone that sees you knows. Everyone that sees you knows you were too lazy to change. Yeah. I don't get the problem with that if you're just going to get a quick item. I don't know. I don't know. I just, I can't do it. But, okay. I won't you, wear my but, slippers but, with it, okay? I'll wear... But wait, 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 wait. Will you wear pajamas to a nicer place? Will you wear, let's say McDonald's. If I'm going through the drive through fuck yeah. No, 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 not drive through But you actually walk in there. No. Just, you just a gas what? station, man. It's pretty McDonald's much McDonald's isn't like high end, Zach. It's not exactly the best place in the world. No. Why is a gas station pajama pants are acceptable, but not in McDonald's? Explain that to me. I I can't. I, <laughs> this is just my own personal. <laughs> I don't mind wearing pajama pants in a gas station. I don't know what it is. How how about this? I feel like gas waffle stations house. see the worst of the worst because people are. What about a waffle world? house? Waffle house? Whoa, don't you be disrespecting the Waffle House. I, I think you'd fit in more in a Waffle House. I feel like pajamas are more normal than a Waffle House than I change into jeans. I, <laughs> pajama pants are more acceptable <laughs> in a Waffle House. Yes. <laughs> yes. How dare you. That's, they're okay with pants at all. You know what? If somebody's in there in their tidy whities I'd be like, yeah, that's Waffle Isn't House. Isn't that kind of true, though? Like, a breakfast place should be acceptable to wear pajama so, pants there, that does feel like there's it a, that's, there's that's a the difference vibe, right? between pajama and the loungewear what's loungewear what do you mean yeah well, loungewear. loungewear is like shorts yeah, yeah. or sweatpants okay. so that you can lounge around the house but other people can see you in this like the people that you're not close strangers can see you in this it's fine pajamas is like okay only family members and myself can see me in yeah this. yeah so I don't see why gym shorts you would be in a gym and people would see you and that's so that's normal. Yeah. But for the most part, only family members see you in your pajamas. Yeah. It's kind of funny though because like pajama pants aren't like it's not like they're revealing or anything. Yeah, they're not. No, no they're no. not really. It's just like a weird psychology that we have where that's like it's almost like a personal thing. It's such a personal it's, like 
Yeah. These are my in-house, I'm done with the day, no one needs to see me, pants. Mm. Yeah. That, that's mentality, yeah. Yeah. So when you see people in them, you're like, that person is so not caring about their life <laughs> that they're yeah. wearing their just, personal just houseware. As an example, if you... Yeah. You've seen those girls, um, some of the girls have the pants back when, I think early 2000s, when mm -hmm. Juicy Couture was popular. Yeah. They have pants on the on the butt, basically saying so juicy, juicy on it. Yeah, I always thought that was trashy as shit. I consider that's pajama, okay? You usually you, only you see that in a Walmart you at home, or in but, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah but I see I haven't seen going that in outside a with 15 this. 15 years, yeah. It looks weird. Like, so... <laughs> It just seems so trashy because, like, I know, like, okay, the name of the company is Juicy. Yeah. But there, it's, it's uh, a very thinly veiled. This is the first like, time I actually am learning that. It was the name of the company, right? Yeah, Juicy Couture. Yeah, yeah. no. I I understand the, the concept now, but when I saw oh, little yeah, so shorts with Juicy on the butt, I didn't realize that was the name of the brand was Juicy yeah, Couture. Yeah, that was the thinly veiled thing is, like... I did not like, know that. Like, if you walked out with a shirt that said, I'm a dirty whore, like, obviously that wouldn't be acceptable. And it seems like the exact same thing if you put Juicy on your ass. Uh-huh. But then they would say, oh, no, that's just the name of the company. It's like, no, bitch. You want to put Juicy on your ass just well, like you'd write whore in a, like, okay. an arrow pointing up. Like, but, it's the same thing, okay? You're advertising. Do you think okay? that's as you bad as wearing doing. the same exact shorts, but it says pink, like pink brand? Yeah, I've seen those. I mm. still consider it's pretty... Just because it doesn't have a word like juicy? Yeah, it's a little... It's a little better than juicy. Not because it's that. too ambiguous. Juicy is... Okay. Yeah, I guess... Nicole does... Pink is on the back? Nicole like... did inform me the there are a lot of other brands that just have the juicy on the butt because they can, you know, they can mimic Juicy Couture by just having yeah, that. It's not... Back in the day, you can't trademark juicy. <laughs> Wait, pink is on the butt? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, if pink was in the crotch, I would say, whoa. Oh, wait. <laughs> right? Nick, that, <laughs> you know, took, like, that's weird. You took that's my joke. Weird. I was going to say, yeah. I want to make <laughs> shorts like that that say moist, but on the crotch. <laughs> yeah, that's where it's like, no, no, that's that's weird. Oh, oh, I have, I have you should put idea. WAP. That's more, that's more present day. WAP. It's right WAP. You don't say WAP. WAP. It's WAP. Oh, I'm sorry. I read it. I'm, I'm that far out of control. Sure. I, I have an idea. We can design a men's gym shorts brand, okay? Have extra large in the crotch part and see how much they sell. Oh, extra large in the crotch? No. <laughs> I feel like you'd have to put, like, a what? juicy sausage or something. Juicy I sausage? <laughs> I no, that's too long. What do you, yeah, what do you put in, like, for a hard. man's crotch? Magnum. Hard? Yeah, Thick. hard. Magnum. 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 Uh huh. Monster. I got a monster <laughs> dong. Monster. There it is. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, so Nicole's saying that Juicy just, you know, it happened to play in the brand name and it, being and a, a juicy ass. And, and pay some, you know, No, it just didn't happen. It, happen. it just didn't uh, happen. I mean, it That's didn't just whole happen. Thing. But I'm saying that people could copy it then because of that. Yeah, people can copy it. Okay. It's not 100%. So if I, like, at what point does it break down? Like, if I have... Monster on my crotch. Uh -huh. Maybe you're a fan okay. of the energy drink. That's like juicy on the back. Kind of. But what if I have the name of my company is Pussy Slayer? All right, Pussy I can put Slayer. it on. The, I can put it on my crotch area. Then you're like, no, come on. Pussy Slayer brand. <laughs> oh lord. Well, I think we got another discourse company we need to start. <laughs> The old pussy slayer brand. What, what else? What would be more like for an ass? More than juicy? Like going from monster to pussy slayer? Uh, Lickable. <laughs> Lickable. Yeah. Tasty. Oh, Jesus. Uh, Squeeze. <laughs> Squeeze. Squeezable. <laughs> I don't. Cock hammer. I was trying to phrase this somehow, <laughs> and the only. <laughs> The only phrase I can think of is come inable. <laughs> Trumpable. Come, come inable. Come inable. You, you know, you guys can That's just the name of the right? company, guys. Okay? <laughs> it's just the name of the company. 
It doesn't mean you can come in my ass. Oh, deposit, make deposits here. That's the name of the company, guys. <laughs> That's just the name of the company. <laughs> oh, my God. Nicole sent me a, a link. You can actually get sweatpants and design what goes on the booty. <laughs> Tell her we got lots of them for her. <laughs> Some people are wearing ones that say, stop looking at my butt, which is an obvious way to make me look at your butt. <clears throat> right? Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, All right, so what other rules we got? What else we got? Do you have more? Let me hear one of yours. Oh, shit. One of my notes didn't save. Man, I don't think I have any as good as, as those ones. Um, so the first first one we had was, if you're in our house, mm -hmm. you can't talk about anything that's dirty in the house unless you're going to clean it. Really? Yeah. Unless you what? This was one of the... Yeah. Unless, I get... Like, what's the point? Like, I'm, so if I'm a guest in a house? Yeah. Like, why would you? No, I feel it's rude to talk, even if you would clean well, it. Well, I think like, that's I kind of the whole people. point of the, the rule is that's just rude. But, okay. Here was my next one, and it's getting to this. Uh-huh. Okay. So my next one was at what point is judging people okay? Ooh. So that's tough. I won't mention, like, like if it's like really dirty, I'm not going to mention about? it, but I will judge people. Like I prob like if it's grossly dirty, I'm not coming back. Or like, yeah, correct. Like to somebody you're close to, you might like be like, "Aren't those people fucking gross?" <laughs> when you're driving away. Yeah. You know. I yeah, it's but human nature. Yeah. But what is it? What point is it okay? But that's what I'm talking about. Like, you're not gonna mention if somebody's house is dusty. Like, there's a dust on the shelves or something. What about really close family or like? Like, I might say that to mom or something. Really? I don't think I've ever said something like that. I've, I've said that your, our kitchen's a little uh, dirty. Okay, well... Sometimes the kitchen is a little. Yeah. That's good. But, but, like, the difference is that I once lived there, so I somewhat feel like it's our own place still. It's you still, know? like, home, in a way. Yeah, that's, like, the only... That's, the that's only kind spot of because it's still part yourself. of your home, in a sense. Yeah, like, in some sense, I kind of feel like... I grew up here. This is like, yeah. It doesn't seem like it's ex like criticizing another person. It's criticizing our family. Yeah, it's yeah. criticizing us, not them. True. Okay, I get it. I mean, we're probably <laughs> half the reason why it ended up dirty in some point. <laughs> oh yeah, it was what much worse. Yeah, L those cabinets. I think Dad removed at one point. I always thought those were kind of gross. Yeah, like they were like I don't know, sixty years old or something. Wait, yeah. is this? The ones that I saw before the renovation or before, after? Before renovation. Before yeah. renovation, okay. Mm -hmm. I always thought those were like, you need to get rid of these things. Yeah, so this... Because well. this all falls in the same category of just kind of don't be rude. Because, like, Nicole's like, this, this, this rule basically falls under the same thing about a person. Like, if it's something they can't fix in, like, five seconds, don't mention it. Like, if they have something in their teeth or something on their face, yeah, mention it because they can get rid of it. Right. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Here's a good one. Oh, well. So in that thing, like, if they have something on their face, you gotta like, say something. Like in their teeth. No. 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 But do you teeth. say something first? Teeth is hard just... because if they can't fix it, like, do you have a toothpick no, readily okay. available? You know. But so say they have something on their face. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you? So first thing you see, they have something on their face. Do you immediately say you have something on your face? I feel like. Most people, I will, and sometimes there's an awkward like in my head. Oh shit, they have something on my face. Should I say something? But there's, but there's no. I don't feel like that's the first but step, though. I think you all, almost always do mention it. I do. No, 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 no. But that's immediately your first go-to. Yeah. Like, hey, there's something on your face. No, like I. So like, if I see it, depends on how embarrassing this is. So one what? thing is like if close. Like, no. I, like, okay, if it's you, Chloe, I'll just say it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It, the, if it's a significant other, it's no issue. Or yeah. somebody you know well. But if it's, like, coworker or something, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would first touch my face in the same spot. 
That's you're playing the weird like psychology scratch. game, man. Just no, tell but them. I swear to God, almost all the time they would do they would do that same thing, and they'll clear it, and it's safe. It's like face saving, okay? Because I didn't have to say it, and they cleared it themselves. And I swear to God, this works. So it's better. It's less awkward for me, and it works. I guess I don't I have that do it. qualm because I hate when people. I- are touching their face and I think I have something on my face well, and I touch my face. What about I'm like, wait, did I have down. something on my face? What about your flies down? Would you rather somebody say and like there are other people around and maybe they don't realize your fly is down? You're not gonna say uh, zip up, buddy. Maybe you just kind of you know. I do. Half no, he, your, uh, he, he I will absolutely say, mention if I notice somebody's fly down. No, I, I don't even if there are around other people around down. and they haven't seen it, huh? I, I would say even you, if there are you, other people you, around. You, you, you got some dust it. on your pants. You might want to check it yeah, out. Yeah, it's not hard yeah, to yeah, turn around it. and you That's zip misdirection. It. That's misdirection. Chloe's got my vibe. What was it? You There's got dust, some on, dust your on your pants. Oh. Mm. Like, it, so it, it doesn't embarrass them as much if other people haven't seen it. Yeah. I don't know. Like, I, I feel like, like I just mentioned, hey, you know, your fly's down. Girls, if, uh, you know, you're in your period and you didn't wear something... And it bled through. Oh, the I am the absolutely hey, not going to be able to mention if a girl has on blood on her. From a you want to check back. it out. <laughs> I cannot do that. No, that's a different level of... You just go, down. hey, lady, there's blood on your crotch. <laughs> it's like that time of the month. You, and you, you shout it as loud as humanly you possible. You do that. That's and then you go, ew, awkward. that's fucking gross. Also, that fi- <laughs> they can't fix that in five seconds. So that fix... That falls in the... But then again, like you want to let them know so that they can go fix it themselves. Yeah. Oh my god, I don't, I don't know if I could do but that. You can't, like. You know, I I've heard this bad if it's bleeding through like whole day. But maybe, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't well, ask this. Hold on, wait. Maybe you don't want to answer. But I've never seen mm-hmm. blood through like jeans okay. or shorts from a woman. Okay, Nicole says she Myself, would want to you? know. She I would have. want to know. So now I have to have. This duty, <laughs> duty. I have to have this duty to tell a woman if I see blood on their pants. You, you're, you're, you guys are not teenager anymore, so mm-hmm. the ch- the likelihood of you guys seeing it is very low. But yeah. if you grow up as a woman, and especially during the teenager, you see that a lot. <laughs> Yeah. No, I don't see it. At, like, I don't. I really feel like I've never. Yeah, I've never this seen it looking. before. At least. See, Zach's with me. Yeah, I've never seen that before. See, every feel... woman thinks we're checking out like total perverts, but I feel like I would have noticed. But, but, um, well, let's be honest. If we're checking out a girl, we're not checking out their and you let vagina. Them yeah, vagina you're not looking at the crotch. On their pants. <laughs> yeah, like. But I, I swear I've seen camel toe. Oh, Nicole's saying normally uh, if there if there's blood, it will show on the backside of a woman. Backside. Yeah. Okay. I would check out ass. Definitely, I check out ass. Yeah. So I and I so don't. We might, I've never seen I've it. I've never noticed it. Okay. What about camel toe? No, you can't uh, mention a girl's camel toe. Why not? <laughs> it's weird. There's nothing they can do to fix it. Yeah, you can just take your no. pants down a bit. No. You, you just can't. you just you just yank it down a bit. Sometimes the, the, no. Sometimes you can't. You sometimes that's mm. just your pants is too tight. Yeah, that's sometimes just the function it's of what they're wearing, tight. and they can't it fix go it. Down. So you're you're saying no? It might be the shape of I'm their vagina. Is Nicole with that? No, you can't say anything about camel toe or the I pants. Even if you think it's fixed. Even Nicole said it's, absolutely it's like, not. You can't mention that. No. That's, we have two women saying, don't do that. <laughs> so we're okay. not doing that. I'm, well, well, well. Period blood, you definitely mentioned. Well, even blood. if, how, well, how close? Still no. You're, you're, you're not going to tell Nicole she has camel toe, Zach? No. I'm not telling no. Nicole that no? it's time to see it. No, not in a million years. <laughs> Nicole says, no, I check it. It's cool. You don't need to. <laughs> <laughs> I make sure. She has an app for that. <laughs> There's an app for that. <laughs> you just take a picture of your crotch. Camel toe alert. <laughs> <laughs> it was a it's called a mirror. A <laughs> I feel like, yeah, I wouldn't say it to a stranger or a co-worker. I'm like, uh, yeah, you got camel toe, Chloe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It just seems like you don't just, just pull it down. You know what, know. though? I'm tired of women talking when I wear my tight shorts saying, Zach, your giant dong is showing. <laughs> could you tuck it in? <laughs> no, but see, if my pants were so tight that you could see the outline of my dick, I'd want Chloe to tell me. 
Yeah, I, w- I would want somebody to tell me if I have my See, big boy showing you in my face. you wouldn't know when you, you have those such a short, That's the tight thing. shorts on. I would definitely know. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, if you already know and you still put it on, either you have to, there's no other choice, or you aware of this and you're okay with it. Mm, that's true. I get that. Yeah. So That's a good point. It's by choice. Okay. <laughs> I, I wear my camel toe loudly and proudly. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, I'm gonna wear. I'm gonna make shorts that have camel toe written on the front of them. <laughs> okay, Zach. Here's the question. So just like I was saying, if they have something on their face, uh-huh. like you just scratch at the same area, and if they're eating food, they'll probably realize that they have something, and they'll wipe oh, it away. Oh, do like a little wedgie fix. Yeah, I was just saying. How do you hint there's camel toe without saying I think directly? Like you you do the wedgie fix. The wedgie. F- oh, you you do the wedgie fix yourself. Yeah, like a then guy that does do a wedgie fix. You do the wedgie fix from the front. Oh. And see if they okay. mirror that behavior. <laughs> I was I was just gonna say like, so uh, you ever seen Lawrence of Arabia? <laughs> just 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 bring up <laughs> desert related things. I thought you were gonna say camel. you mimic being a camel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Just the ca- okay. did you did you know a camel's humps were to store water <laughs> and <laughs> their toes? Just bring that. Are yeah. you? S- <laughs> How many toes does a camel have? I don't know. It's two, isn't it? <laughs> Just start Actually, bringing yeah. up weird facts yeah, two, about camels. That, okay, that's how you do it. You say, "Did you know a camel only has two toes?" <laughs> or a camel's foot? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and then you walk away, forever ruining their life. <laughs> They're scarred. <laughs> All right. Well, do we have any other rules? All right, then. Where did we get there? Oh, okay. Terrible. Uh, where did we start there? Okay. I, so I was going to... My starting point there was at what point is judging people okay? Like, so you were talking, like, dirty. Uh-huh. Right? Yeah. So, like, in a house, at what point is dirty too dirty where you're like... I forgot we started with problems. the dirtiness. <laughs> yeah, somehow we got to camel toe. <laughs> dirty house. Dirty to camel, to camel toe. toe. A natural... Step by step. <laughs> progression. <laughs> um, I feel like it has to be pretty nasty for me to mention it. Like, look, it's real dirty here. Like, I've I've maybe mentioned something like... If I'm going to a person's house and I'm, like, playing with my magic cards or something, mm-hmm. and it's, like, a dirty table, like, I'll clean it myself. I don't care. But I'm not putting, like, my cards on a dirty table. Okay. That I understand. But at what point, so if you're going to play magic at someone's house, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and it's, like, at what point is it I'm probably not going to come back here? Just based on cleanliness, not, like, their personality... Or anything like that. Just like I mean, it's gotta be pretty bad. I I I can take a dirty house. You know what I mean? It's not somewhere I'm gonna like voluntarily go mm-hmm. all the time. If your house is like literally just nasty. Like how? So how gross? I don't. You're saying it can be pretty dirty. Yeah. Like just clutter. You mean? Yeah. Like a lot of clutter doesn't. Really, clutter doesn't really bother me. It has to actually clutter be like is dirt. Fine. You know what I mean? Okay, what if there's a... Is it smell? I feel like that's probably... It smells smell bad. Is, yeah, if a house smells... Because yeah. you can't even really mention that, too. Like, Yeah. Hey, your sm- house time. smells like turds. Like, <laughs> what do you say? It's just, it's just, Did you remember to flush? <laughs> just every time I walk into... So we're, we're doing the By house the way, function, I'm attacking right? your uh, lands with... <laughs> Like, Nick and I have been doing the, the like, looking yeah. for a place to rent, uh-huh. right? Like, there's mm. a certain house that looks decent, and the minute we walk in, and oh, we're like, yeah. what's the smell? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you're shopping for houses, that's mm. different. You gotta be like, what the fuck is that smell? Yeah. Yeah, well, that's what brought up that kind of question. Yeah. <clears throat> it's like, smells are definitely there. <laughs> Especially, see, empty house, it still smells. Then <laughs> you wonder what's going on the subfloor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, that actually makes a lot of sense. I... If you're shopping for houses, you gotta ask questions about like, what the fuck is that smell? Like, why is this smell funky? Okay, so but what about so judging problem. people? What about judging people not based on their house? Uh-huh. Just judging people. What do you mean? All together, 
Yeah. Like, once it's okay to just judge people based on their appearance or their behavior. Uh-huh. Like, what's, mm-hmm. what's the acceptable? Like, okay, thinking of the pajama pants, I don't know why... But, like, if I saw somebody in a gas station with pajama pants, I don't know if that, even though them? I wouldn't go into a gas station with pajama pants, I'm probably not going to judge them very negatively. Yeah. Right? But if so you see somebody in a nice restaurant in pajama pants, you're going to judge them. I d- it's still not that harshly. Yeah, not I harshly, like but you're going to be like, why are they wearing pajama pants? And that might be as far as it goes. I think people judge other people all the time. It's All the inevitable. time. Oh yeah. But when do you think it's but okay? But you don't bring it up to other people. I think Nicole and I go into true. judgment mode sometimes when we're out in public and start judging people. Cause you're like, I'm like yeah, a people but, but watcher, you, don't, you know. You don't yeah. talk so that other people could listen. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So everything's no. game to criticize, as long as you're not being really harsh. Just like true, yeah. 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 If you're just talking in private. Yeah. It's yeah. Anything goes fine. in private. Yeah. But mm. if you out loud judging someone and that person can hear, then that's mm-hmm. okay. Immoral. But what yeah. about <clears throat> involvement? Okay. What do you mean? So, so, let's say you have a doctor. All uh-huh. right. At what point in that doctor's appearance are you going to be like, I'm going to get a different doctor? Just appearance. Like, what if that doctor comes out with a face tattoo? I don't really care. Uh, it, purple hair face tattoo you're not like that no. doctor makes interesting choices i feel like a doctor with a face tattoo i f- somehow would respect more because they might have gone through something and then changed their life around really uh, yeah what is the how many doctors the they get killed? the doctor and then <laughs> get the face tattoo i don't think that's doctors, the usual no maybe sequence of events has like you know what i became a doctor and then yeah. decided to join a gang and now Lawyer i got my teardrop tattoo yeah but every year you need to renew your license. Do you think they're gonna get allow you to renew your license? Yeah, you show up with your face tattoo and all the teardrops. So, so the, yes, they probably will. So if you're on the board, uh-huh. there's the question. If you're on the board, and there is a doctor with face drop tattoos, are you gonna judge him more harshly on renewing his license? I wouldn't, but I feel like some people would. Chloe just said, of course. You I feel like some people would. always do. You can't avoid yeah. it. Like, I would have the question, are you really a doctor? <laughs> like, I'd start like, did you kill the doctor and you're, you're pretending to be the doctor? You, char- you judge harshly, but if everything checks out, you still give them the pass because that's a rule. Right? Yeah, that's mm. what I'm saying. Like, if their record's fine, what's harshly? it matter that they have a face tattoo? What if he's got a face tattoo and a MAGA hat? Well, if the doctor that comes really to a strange. board meeting with a MAGA hat and a face tattoo, there's going to be some questions. No, he's coming to check you. He's it's, he's checking up on you. Uh, Yeah, I feel like a political thing. I might actually change doctors. <laughs> <laughs> and, and what if... <laughs> if, okay. if that's how you decide to do your doctoring is in a <laughs> MAGA, MAGA hat, hat I have questions. But what, why not the face tattoo? That's really weird. Because th- there's a lot more, there's different connotations to a MAGA hat than a face tattoo. Okay, okay. <laughs> How about this? What? Okay, it's a male doctor. Okay. Uh-huh. And, and he bends down and you see a tramp stamp saying cum slut on his back. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like... Are you like, well, that's awkward. I feel like I'm, I like that doctor. <laughs> I'm trying to come up with the most of ridiculous examples. You know what? Uh, Nicole has a great point, though, with the MAGA hat. Okay. Uh-huh. He does believe all lives matter. No, oh, there he's you go. going to help See? you. <laughs> what, if, what, if, what if he's examining you and he's like, you know, evolution's just a lie, you know? <laughs> I feel like, yeah, if, if it's like anti-science related and I'm with a doctor, if there's anything that gives me an anti-science vibe, I'm out. Because you're not keeping up with medical journals and shit. <laughs> he says, no, nah, your chi seems all right. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm going to pray for you that this broken bone heals. I'm doing nothing else. <laughs> let, let the God help you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, 
I mean, I, again, like I feel like they anyone's political leaning and over, yeah. their the whatever the face appearances is, mm-hmm. and uh, you know, as long as everything checks out, I think you still have to let them but, renew the license. Yeah, renew license. Okay. The rule is the rule. Okay, they put there because you need to obey it. Wow, your Chloe judgment. is the the rules follower. Over here. <laughs> You know what? But okay, okay, let's, let's put that in a different a context. Okay, this is the thing I need okay. because Chloe brought up always following rules. Mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. think people need to learn more when you're. It's okay to break rules. So, Not only when it's okay, you should break rules all the time. So here's my so. my uh, for instance. I was okay. at IKEA. <clears throat> we went into the you're, line. You were at what? IKEA. Okay. Mm-hmm. I went to get that delicious cinnamon bun, right? Uh-huh. Me and another okay. person, a person ahead of me, both went through the exit, because you know everywhere with COVID now has a distinct entrance and exit, right? Uh-huh. And you have to exit through the exit, and you have to. Well, we both went through the exit to enter, uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. and so the girl tried to leave after getting her food through the entrance. Nobody was there. The person okay. like, no, I don't want to say yelled at her, but said, "Hey, you have to go through the exit," you know, like because that's where the exit is. But by doing that, she had to pass me, which completely defeats the whole purpose of why the rule's in place. So you should have just let the person exit through the entrance because they already entered yeah. through the exit. That but because they're so butthurt about the COVID exit. rules, they followed the COVID rules without understanding the whole meaning of why they're there. Yeah, it just makes sense. It's yeah. like jaywalking. Mm-hmm. Like, if I checked... Okay, I'm not retarded. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna run through the street and I mean, maybe get killed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I jaywalk because I know I'm okay. Yeah. There are rules, and there's also room for you to challenge the rules. I'm mm-hmm. not saying all the rules are good, right? But rules mm-hmm. are put there for the reason. If you don't think they're good rules, you can challenge it. Yeah, like employees must wash hands before returning <laughs> to work in a restaurant. Challenge. If I handle people's food and I'm like ah. That's okay. I didn't get any shit on me. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. <laughs> I really hope they follow those. <laughs> I really do. It's more a suggestion <laughs> than a rule. <laughs> All right. That, that's a good one. So, anyways, what were we talking about before that one? I don't remember. Oh, I was trying to come up with more of like, okay, doctor, you're kind of already... You're already there at the doctor's office, right? Yeah. I feel like but most of the I'm time gonna... I'm going to stay with the doctor for the appointment and leave, no matter what I see. Okay, here's a better scenario. Okay. Mm-hmm. You're going through uh, dating profiles okay. on an online dating site. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. Now, do you judge tattoos or, like, hair color? Like, at what point is it, like... Oh, yeah, of course. Of course because that's... <laughs> if you're on a dating app i mean that's all you're doing is judging people okay no 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 but you're not judging not judging like the way it looks judging what you think their personality is yeah but they they also have like it's for your bios in there too preference so it's not the job they do no it's not a professional setting yeah exactly okay it's just what you're attracted to and stuff how about this you're interviewing contractors to do work on your home Mm -hmm. yes they give you all the same price. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. You have, you, you don't know the work, you know, you're not a genius. I don't know the work? Yeah, as in like, you don't know what it takes to install solar okay. panels. Not, but, but, but like they say, I'll install the solar panels. Install, right? Yeah, then are you judging based on, what are you judging on? Like, do if you they use are, face tattoos? Are they If they have face tattoos, good. you're like, that might, guy might if, steal from me, I, I don't look, know. If I look at their portfolio, are they all equally good? Do you look at a portfolio if you have a contractor doing... They have reviews. Yeah, I was going to say, I would look at reviews. Yeah, they always have reviews. Um, I would always go with reviews over any Or you go with personal references. Yeah, exactly. No, reviews seem so hackable, though. Well, they've hacked them, then. They've at least taken the work to hack the reviews. Because I feel like Yelp is totally fucked up. Well, I wouldn't use Yelp. A lot of them are like... These are bullshit because I know they paid then, for those reviews in this restaurant Then you go to your sucks. coworker, go to your family but, member, but and I'm ask saying, them who they I'm use. saying the hypothetical is you don't have that. So all things first being time, even, time. do you take the guy yeah. with face tattoos or the guy without face tattoos for yeah. certain work? 
I think it depends on the work, honestly, and how much they're going to be in your house. Like yeah. what? Like what's the difference? Like if they're working outside of my house, it probably doesn't matter if they're working inside my house. Yeah, I'll probably judge more face tattoos. Yeah. So I'm saying there's a point where you're like, hey. okay. So yeah, I mean, of course, at some point, face tattoo is going to work against you. If, that, then, if that's like, your overall goal of this hypothetical, <laughs> eventually a face tattoo is going to work against no, you. No, the but then it's world. like, what else, what, at what point does it not work against you? Face tattoo, sure. Mm -hmm. Tattoo well, on the arm. Nah, at this point. No yeah, no. I really think only I'm, face tattoos at this point really affect I'm you. I'm more concerned is if I can communicate with that person well. Sometimes I have trouble yeah. understanding what they're saying. That's not good. Yeah, I even think face right. tattoos are going that way though. Really? Yeah, because Did like you get a face tattoo. You have like people like uh, I wouldn't, but I think the younger generation now might grow up judging less harshly on face tattoos because there's more popular people with face tattoos. Like Post Malone is like covered in face tattoos. A lot of rappers I think are I know covered who that in is, face but I tattoos. Do I do not. Just think, just <laughs> let me put it this way. A lot of popular rappers have face tattoos. Oh, uh, okay. Are most popular rapper trustworthy people? Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know. <laughs> do I don't know their life. People? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, that, what, what rule do you have? Okay, let me look, let me look for a new rule. I would say posture and appearance posture is better than appearance like how they compose themselves mm, okay i got one never eat or drink the last like food or drink oh, at a I party have that. i actually have unless that. you brought it or you yeah, ask first before asking yeah no nah, i agree with that you you ask before eating the last thing yeah i guess so sometimes if i brought the food to the party I would like people to finish all of it. Mm. But yeah, sometimes that's true. If like it's something you yeah. brought and made, you want them to finish it, so you just. That's bring an them easy the social rule, though. I think. Would you judge somebody if they uh, ate it without asking? Yeah, I mean, part of the rule is if somebody breaks it, you're gonna be like, "Why the hell did you eat the last of my <laughs> X, Y, or Z?" I don't know. But it, actually, that's different because what if you um. People come over for a party and I bake a cake for them, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it's out there for everybody. I'm not going to judge anybody who takes the last of it. I made it for well, them. Well, if, if like, everyone got a slice. Exactly. Uh -huh. And, like, if they hadn't had a slice and they eat the last slice, that's fine. But if they had two slices and they didn't check everyone else got a slice. I don't care. At that point, somebody, no. that's somebody else's fault for not getting the slice when it was available. Mm, if if, right. if they, like immediately take like say like they're not the last person in line and there's two left and they take yeah. two and there's somebody behind them <laughs> yeah well, judge for it. example if you're on a buffet and mm -hmm. then there's someone in front of you just get all the crab legs yeah on their plate and leaves nothing behind oh man yeah judge. Then buffet, that's there's rude, no rules okay that's oh you what choose, you lose no, no, no. No, still, that's rude. If you, okay, no. if there is, if they freshly place the macaroni and cheese, like, freshly place it in front of you, and you take the whole thing. You literally just the lift whole, up the you, little pan that they put in there? Yeah, well, you build a mountain on your plate, and you go back. Huh. You're an you asshole. Better, you better finish it. I am tripping that person on their way. You take like one bite out of it and like, <laughs> well, you know what? I don't like this actually. <laughs> like you better finish it. Yeah. <laughs> but I feel like if there's like two, like, you know, there's a few crab legs in a thing and I take it from a buffet, it's the buffet's a responsibility few. to be on top of the replenishment of a the food. But if there's a lot and you take a lot, then you're being a dick. Yeah, you it depends think no on rules. A lot, but yes, I get that. I'm not going to take all also, of it. Also, are buffets going to be like kind of yeah, not a thing anymore? Know. That shit's right going to exist. Yeah. I have no idea. I think it's just going to be closed. Like, buffets just aren't something you can really do with COVID rules. Yeah. No. I actually kind of I don't miss know what going, Vegas is doing. You could like you could, but it would be they hand it to you. 
They have like to. you request, I, and then they go and take it, and then bring it. Yeah, like, the restaurant I think mom and dad said right? that yeah. with uh, Golden Corral, and you don't make the plates anymore, like or serve it. I guess they have people in front of everything, and you just say what you want, and they put it on your plate. So it's only Weird. one person ever touching the utensils. Yeah, mm. but then again, you are hiring a lot more uh, waiters yeah. yep. and waitresses, right? Yeah, it's yeah. more expensive, so only the nicer ones will survive, and maybe buffets cost more. Yeah. Hmm. Which kind of defeats the purpose of the buffet model. Yeah. yeah true. Ch- cheap food in my mouth. <laughs> All right. Do you have another rule? Uh, let me see what I had. I don't know why our microphone is just always weird. I was thinking, what's like? So we, you were th- we were saying the eating the last thing before asking, right? Yeah. Like if you have a shared appetizer and everyone got one. Mm-hmm. And there's one left, and somebody eats it without asking. Mm-hmm. You might judge that person. You would judge that person, like in a restaurant. Yeah. What's the minimal thing that you would judge somebody on? That was the the most the most minor thing I could think of, is if there's food that's for the everyone in the restaurant, everyone at your table, and they eat it without asking. I might judge him a bit. Not, like, super harshly, but I'd be like, yeah. well, that guy's a bit I of a I feel like dick. humans just naturally judge people on all kinds of things. Like, yeah. you, But what's not... the smallest thing? The you smallest like... thing you can judge somebody on? Negatively. Uh, make tons of noise. Make tons of noise, what do you mean? In a restaurant. Oh, just talking? Like oh, you, you're talking specifically in a restaurant, what will you judge? No, 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 just oh. what, anything, general? yeah. Oh. Uh... The smallest thing... I have one. Okay. Just in, uh, in public, if, if someone's blasting music, yeah, I immediately judge negative to that person. Yeah. You keep it to yourself. Yeah, I don't that's think that rule. that's that's that minor though, because they're interrupting your space and but thinking they're more park, important yeah. for what they're doing. I think it's pretty minor eating the last thing without asking. Like, okay. yeah, that's pretty I mean, it's minor. food. Everyone else had one, but it just seems like you're supposed to ask before you do it. Yeah. Or what's the minor thing? I don't know. That's hard to say because, like, there's just like it's hard to. What's the a minor thing? It's so open. Like littering. Oh, I think that's major. Uh, I definitely judge littering. But they didn't affect you. But still, it's 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 less than. Do you think it's less than like playing loud music? No, I think littering's more. More. Ooh. Because that's just yeah. like it. It definitely defines a characteristic of that person, right? If you're just gonna yeah. throw your, like your. Okay. S- okay. How about this? Mm-hmm. They clearly accidentally dropped something. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or they dropped a bunch of things, but they didn't pick it all up. They picked most of it up. They like accidentally didn't see something they picked up, right? No, no, no. Let's say they didn't accidentally. It's just it went too far, and they're not gonna go that far. No. Oh, uh huh. And they don't pick it up. No, nah, I'm not going to judge them on that. Because that happens. Like, nah. I've dropped a receipt and went to pick it up and the wind blew it too far. And I'm like, well, I'm not yeah. going to fucking chase yeah, a receipt like, yeah. down the fucking That's road. Accidental. So you're not judging on that. No. no. You're like, like if well. You, if you, like, bought a popsicle and just throw the package on the street, then that's bad. Mm. Yeah, I'm talking, like, blatant littering. Yeah. All right, I have, I have a rule. Last rule okay. I have written down. <clears throat> Is if you always smoke weed at a party or with the same people, you gotta eventually bring weed. And you never bought no <laughs> drugs! <laughs> Not once! Not once. Yeah, basically that rule. You know, you never have paid for drugs. Not once. Well, it's, it's the same thing with the food and drinks, right? You go to a party and people mm. buy a drink. Eventually, yeah, actually, yeah. that's has true. To be your you bring... just never be a freeloader. Yeah. Yes, don't. That's, yeah. that's a rule. It's okay every now and then. Or if, like, I know you're in a situation where you can't just... You don't, you're don't. you not financially able to bring that stuff. I'm yeah. not going to say anything. Hmm. But, like, if I and obviously know you have a job... And you can bring food, and you never do, or stuff like that. Mm. Yeah, it's it's the thing, right? And the group hangouts, and uh, usually everyone has a turn to pay, usually, right? Mm-hmm. You, you cover the whole bill, or if it's in the corporate setting, your you know your manager picks up the tab. Mm. That's normal. Mm. Right. 
Yeah. I always feel weird when people like cover like a full bill or there's like that weird um not like I feel weird but like when I'm in a setting and I think somebody's going to pay for something but I don't know uh -huh. until the bill comes and they don't like immediately grab it and it's just hanging out there I hate that feeling like uh, should I grab it am I are we splitting this, this? Are we splitting oh this? I always Default, like you gotta you tell me ahead of time it. I got this covered because yeah. I hate that feeling of like I don't know you know what I mean if you're planning on covering it like let me know I don't, mm. I don't you know think I, I mean? ever run into this issue yeah it's always splitting like yeah, most... I was just, no no I get it because sometimes I'll like I'll pay if depends on after scenario. like I'll just offer at the end mm -hmm. well that's or something that's different like if you go with people and you're are, you're expecting to pay, you know what I mean, and somebody just offers it. I'm saying when you go with somebody and they usually uh -huh. pay for you, like usually this happens with like say Nicole and I go out with their parents. Usually the parents uh -huh. end up paying for it. All, yeah, actually I think almost always, but like the whole time you don't know if they're going to. And then the bill comes, and it's not like they immediately grab it or they never told you they're covering it. Oh, like and then just... you don't know if you're supposed to grab it or be like, hey, here's my half. Or... Exactly. I uh, see. That's awkward. I think if that if her parents paid a couple times... You always maybe, assume they'll pay? No, maybe yeah. you should chime in a couple of times to pay for be it. Like, yeah, because I've, I've, I've know, done that, and Nicole's done it pay. where, like, you've just... Mm. You're nice to a friend, and you're like, hey, I got your food. You know what I mean? You'll tell them ahead yeah. of time. Or you'll like grab the bill and just pay it out like out of courtesy. Yeah, I don't. I wouldn't leave it dangling. Exactly. Dangling That's weird. seems weird. Yeah, I agree. Like when the the bills just sit in there, it's weird. Yeah, I feel like if I don't have a job, I expect my parents to pay for me all the time. But I have a job. Yeah, so. I mean, I yeah. <laughs> like you guys have paid for me before, but you've let me know ahead of time, and it's never like a weird situation. But sometimes. People will be like, you go out with people who you think are paying for it, and you don't know. Like, are you paying for this? Like, <laughs> yeah. Especially in I want to know if I should get the lobster or not. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah, That's the other thing, like, what is my budget here? That's another thing I hate, is I don't like... If you're paying we, a... Like, I like when people say, hey, I got this, position. order whatever you want. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, let me have that freedom. Like, or, hey, I got budget, this, but I need to make rent at the end of the month. So if you could get, like, just croutons. Just <laughs> throw it as croutons. But I feel like it's, it's <laughs> fine if we go to a restaurant and you're paying. Like, hey, I got this. Crackers. Just don't order any, like, $50 item or something. You know what I mean? Like, that's cool. Mm. If you're covering me, that's fine. If I want the steak, I'll pay for it. You know what I mean? Like, just let me know. Don't yeah. order something that's, like, 30-some dollars. Or yeah, don't order, like, a shit ton of food. someone's paying for my meal i wouldn't i wouldn't order too expensive stuff if i'm yeah. paying i don't i, I would always joke I about ordering <laughs> super expensive yeah you always joke but then i wouldn't it. actually yeah. do it yeah especially with That's friends true. you're like oh i'm getting the whole menu then you know what i mean like one of everything it's a yeah. it's that old dad joke. I I'm gonna ask the joke. waitress if she she'll uh, do something for me in the back. She looks pretty hot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna offer five grand. That's covered too, right? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Part, part of the clause. <laughs> that's hilarious. Oh my god. She's got a face tattoo too, so I'm pretty sure she'll be down. So she's down, <laughs> and she got that juicy booty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's got juicy on her. Fans, I think she's down. <laughs> With a camel toe in the front. <laughs> she is, she's down, if you know what I mean. You guys are really naming it. <laughs> <laughs> well, did you have any other rules? I feel like we got a good, uh, good set of let's rules see here. see if I had anything. Some societal uh, rules to follow. I feel like I'm a better person after this. Yeah, <laughs> Chloe, did you have any? I don't think you had. No, I like I What's said something, and you said it's not really bad. I don't know. Give me a rule. Mm. What do you feel is a social rule in China that's not a rule here? Ooh, that's a good one. A social rule in China. What's something that's definitely yeah. followed in China, like an unwritten oh, rule? Uh, I I I have one. So mm -hmm. it's I don't know 
if it's a rule, but it's a it's a thing that everybody do. Okay. Okay. You don't form a line on the bus when you're waiting on the bus. Yeah, that you I know. You go there. Everyone just fucking you, goes. You fend out for your own. You got yeah. your own seat. You got seat for your friends. Okay. Yeah. Or people who travel with you. And here's the thing: it's brutal as fuck. As you in, got like, it quick. there could be an old lady with a walking like stick. Yeah, like the oh, walker. Faster just than push you. over. You're you're too slow, bitch. You gotta stand. <laughs> yeah, and also in the subway, it generally like also being polite is you gotta move fast. You can't stand. Yeah, I I did actually notice that in China when we went up like the escalators in the subway area, like uh-huh. it, there was no line. It was just a giant mob headed towards an escalator. Yeah, yeah. and you go. You gotta yeah. be quick and don't block other people. Mm. I wonder if that's sure like that in like New go. York and stuff too. Just like really busy places. Yeah. Yeah. That's. I think that's a general rule of thumb. You don't. You don't go there and a courtesy let other people take the seat. It never happens. You may give up your seat uh-huh. for an elderly. You can do that, and people do that. But on the first, you you go to get seat. If not, get a comfortable place so that you can stand without <laughs> smelling other people's armpits. Yep. <laughs> so this is actually funny because I think it's the opposite in. Uh, Canada, because I've heard Penn Jillette talk about this. After the show, he always stays for everybody to sign and take pictures, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, he always says, I don't want a line, so just let him form a mob and they'll come as they go. Mm-hmm. In Canada, he's literally said to people, like, hey, we're signing shows. Don't form a line. Don't let them form a line. Well, and and they always a form a line. <laughs> like, in Canada, apparently, like, they are always forming a line when there's something to do. I think it's like a politeness thing in Canada, right? Like, yeah, yeah. you were here first. You go ahead. Mm-hmm. I feel like I am going to kill the last five people remaining in this room, and they're still gonna queue up <laughs> to get exit. Up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> like just go to the back. Oh, you're gonna kill us, eh? Hold like on, let's go on. That's a Canadian serial killer. <laughs> <laughs> No, well, darn it! I guess I was last in line. <laughs> <laughs> well, shucks. <laughs> and then the the guy get killed talking to the serial killer. Like, you're not my friend. <laughs> <laughs> you're not my friend, pal. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Awesome. Well, I think that's a good set of rules for us to uh, to yeah. have in life. Yeah, now we we can be uh, more judgmental or less judgmental, whatever. I feel like I'm not sure which. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) I think I'm just going to pay more attention in public. I'm still going to judge more. I I don't know. Judge all you want. It's human nature. Embrace it. Just don't say it. I feel like so many people say. Embrace the judgment. Like. I'm not judgmental. People are judgmental. No matter who says that. Yeah, it's just like. I judge people that say that even more harshly. <laughs> like, like, that let me know you're an idiot and you're probably somebody that says, I don't want to be, don't be so judgmental as like, don't be so judgmental because I would be judged really fucking harshly. I feel like so, people like, who say that probably are some of the most judgmental people. Yeah. The weird thing is if you look at, you know, like in machine learning in comparison, right? Mm-hmm. How they build a model is through Bayesian inference. Mm-hmm. What it does, you know, put layman's term, is like you judge on the outcome. I'm judging you as a nerd right now. And <laughs> you think about how human learning is, yeah, you, based on a certain set of uh, actions, you get consequences and you get the probability of certain things happening, right? And you optimize towards one direction. Don't you judge me. <laughs> so this is, this is essentially how you learn things. Mm. This is human nature and this is how you learn things. Do you think people who are judges are extra judgmental when they're not judging? Uh, I don't. Are judges anymore? Do they just have authority? Sort of other <laughs> they just have authority with their judgment. Yeah, I think they're extra judgmental. <laughs> they just. It has a lot of impl- judges, implications. Right? <laughs> hmm. It just enforces your certain set of Tell you uh, what, opinions. I bet you a judge does judge more harshly with somebody with face tattoos. <laughs> I think so too. Like, yeah, 
Yeah, uh, this wasn't your first time. <laughs> I see a few more tears before this murder. Uh, ooh, got him. <laughs> You're going to have to get a freshly inked one for that. <laughs> got him. Yeah, I mean, if you're a judge, you see the person who's been coming here for the first time. Like, do you really... Yeah, push oh, your okay. Come do you on. think... So, in judging people, mm-hmm. you probably have, like, a... Okay, it's their first time, they didn't realize, or they made a bad mistake. Yeah. Whatever. But do you not think judges are more like, that's bullshit. I see those people, they do the same goddamn thing. I've seen them eight times here, stealing bread. Probably. Stealing whatever. Yeah. Shoplifting. I'm sure they do. So then they don't have the... I uh, think judges... Okay, you're dumb, you're young, you made a mistake. They're like, you'll just do it again. Well, let's be honest, it yeah. probably depends on the color of your skin for that. <laughs> I don't know. Do you think if there's well, if you keep doing the same, commit the same crime. If there's over a over blonde again. white girl, yeah, exactly, sixteen oh. that got caught shoplifting, uh-huh. they'll be like, okay, you're yeah. trying to impress your friends. But if it's the same blonde girl being shoplifting five times, every time yeah. being sent to the court, you have a record. But see, the thing is, she probably I, the judge. I'm betting does not see uh-huh. the same blonde <laughs> white woman five times. So he does give her leeway. Exactly. You can look up the record, do you? Yeah, That's no, but saying. he's just assuming the other people just didn't get caught. Other people didn't get caught? What do you mean? The, the non-blonde 16-year-old white girl. She's assuming... She, the judge is just assuming it was the first time dumb kid mistake. Yep. Right? And for the other people... It's just that they've done it a hundred times and they'll do it a hundred times That's again. That's what I'm saying. It's just who, they, this is the first time they got caught. Who do you think gets more harshly judged? That's a black man true. going into a judging for the same exact crime as a blonde white female? Yeah, blonde white female is always going to get gonna get. Easy. She's going to get less, less sentenced, less harshly That's true. judged. But I do it's, feel like it should be based on what the person did before the track record well that's what we're saying with a first offense if they're yeah no but offense. first offense okay a knife stuck into another man's chest okay. blonde white girl he was raping you wasn't he <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. black guys you wanted his wallet i know it <laughs> Good Lord. there was there's no possible excuse for this yeah life that's where we're going you're imagining a lot of scenarios. I don't know. That's the thing is like. You know, I mean, this has like been proven. Like, I don't even know why we're arguing this. this is, yeah. <laughs> this is already a proven thing. But then again, the 200 pound black guy's gonna go, no, he was trying to rape me. <laughs> no one's gonna be like, yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> uh, not quite sure about that. <laughs> not so, sure I'm buying that one. So, so what if. You have a court proxy, okay? Have the um, the person who was accused of the crime in mm-hmm. a room, okay? Mm-hmm. And he's not he or she is not visible to outsiders. Mm-hmm. And the only communication is through text. Uh-huh. You would only know the person's gender, age, right? Yeah. And and then uh, he, other information if they want, not disclose they cannot not disclose. And then just based on the information on that, I think that's how can you get judging convinced? should work already. Like I think court cases, the person being tried shouldn't actually mm-hmm. appear in court. You shouldn't be able to judge yeah, them just based I on appearances. So. It probably yeah. should be blind judgments, because there's definitely yeah. inherent bias in people, in juries, yeah, in you, trial. You, you should be judged by your track record and what you actually did, yep. what the witness said, okay, and evidences. Not mm. what they look. Yeah, no, I totally think that's how court process and hearings should work. You, The person being tried should not be in the courtroom for everyone to look it, and stare at and judge. Okay, so if it's um, <clears throat> a hate crime, uh huh. the person shouted a racial uh, slur? Slur, slur before doing something. Okay. What if they said cracker? Does that get translated to a racial slur to the jury? I don't know. I don't know if that... I I would... Oh, well, that is the thing. I, I'm saying it's I don't know if court-wise it does, but it maybe should be. 
But I, does it? I don't know. I don't think it then should Then the be judgment skewed. goes on who's doing the translating. What do you right? mean? No, you, you shouldn't do the translating. You should be verbatim what they said. Yes. There should not be translation. You see the text. If the person said crack, then you see the text crack. Okay. Um, what if it was just guess. a hammer and they meant crack and it was a girl he hit? I'm, so it was crack I'm trying her. to think like... Uh, what's the... Uh, Cigarettes. Uh, black people smoke specific ones, right? Yeah. Uh, what? What are they? Which ones are they? Uh, um, menthol pools. Yeah. The the perpetrator had discarded his menthol cool cigarettes. There's obviously <laughs> yeah. So I think I know. With the blind courtroom, there's probably <laughs> some clues light, you right? can pick up on for certain yeah, cases. Yeah, that's what I'm but saying. But in it's general, it would be better to have blind courtroom cases because you're going to be more focused on what people said the, the, rather the than actual, what they like, like specific. Yeah. yeah, and the general court case should be open for public viewing. Hmm. Anyone can look up what exactly happened. Yeah. Same with college entrance. <laughs> Should be merit based. They shouldn't know your gender, your name. They shouldn't name. know any of it. Yeah. <laughs> your I race. agree with you. They shouldn't. I'm just saying uh, people will automatically know right away. Yeah. Like if they read the story, a lot of them will just be able to pick it up. Sometimes you'll guess. Yeah, for sometimes that, Sometimes it can be wrong, though. Like your guess is wrong. I mean, based on location, you'll just know 80% of the time. Yeah, mm, true. Not always right. Hmm. All right. And and with a blind court, and we'll see how much the actual conviction rate is between different race. Mm. And you'll see it's probably more related to their economic status than their race. <laughs> That's I my guess. I still okay. So, should be so wait, wait, wait. So we're going back to that thing. Black man claims... That man he stabbed was trying to rape him. Yes, uh-huh. that that old tale. <laughs> black man is erased. Why? Because it's blind, right? So the 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 supposed perpetrator stabbed somebody. You know, somebody was in a private room and stabbed somebody with a knife. And he's. Uh-huh. And he was the the stabber. Right? Yeah, he's the stabber. Okay. And you don't get to know his race or gender. Yeah. And he claims the other man was trying to rape him. Oh, I see what you're saying. Because we don't know it's a man. You're you don't th- know it's a man. Thinking they could you know, use that. Yeah. Men could rape men. I know, but are you buying the story more? Yeah. If it's a woman versus a man? I, I get what you're saying, and I can see where prosecutors might try to do that trick. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I so can, just I say, can yeah, see He was trying to rape you. I guess you would have to factor in uh, certain facts. Um, you would have to have the judge judge whether or not it's permissible to let them know the person who is claiming they were raped is 200 pounds and the person who <laughs> supposedly raped is 100. A buck oh, 20. okay. But then what about the woman that's 200 pounds? Are you, are you discounting her story more because she's 200 pounds? Well, I'm talking about physical ability to rape. Uh, nah, this you is might, you also question, might actually it? have to put in the power dynamic of male versus female. Like a judge might actually have to deem what that being necessary info. Yeah, think about it. If it's a 200 pound woman raping a 100 pound guy, can it happen? It can, it right? It can happen. Yeah. 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 I'm not discounting the story here. It could no, be a no, 200 no, no. pound man raping a 100 pound woman. See, then the now it's a case of what's relevant. But do you discount if you are on the jury? No. You, and you see the defendant is like an attractive woman claiming rape. Uh-huh. Versus, uh... <laughs> how drunk was he <laughs> claiming yeah. rape? Uh, I, do you I, discount her story? I, I think there should be a, uh, a doctor... Over there. Yeah, I don't, do I don't think know, that matters because we should have rape kids. No. You're saying is physically capable. Kid? No, 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 no. Rape kids don't matter because they can just say consensual. I'm just saying, can a 100-pound woman rape a 250-pound man? Can she? With the right drugs. 
then you should be able to detect <laughs> drugs, can't you? Yeah, yeah. Th- there you go. Uh, but you're getting off my There's question. Not enough. It's wait. Nick, you're getting off the. It's the innocent question until going proven yet. guilty. So at that I, point, no, no, we no, just no, have no, no. I'm facts. saying you're on a jury. Uh huh. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, attractive woman. Uh huh. Acclaims rape. Uh huh. Versus women, you like. Somebody finds that attractive. Uh huh. Claims rape. Yeah. Who are you more likely to believe? Are you discounting based on her appearance? Well, no. obviously we would, but that's why we're saying we should be blind because we. Zach obviously just said obviously blind. we would, and Chloe said no. Why not, Chloe? Because there's actually a lot of cases. Attractive women mm-hmm. sometimes know how to protect themselves. Okay. Okay. Sometimes unattractive women don't know those things. And think about the actual rape victims that you saw. Okay. They're usually not that attractive women. They're just being in an unfortunate situation. Mm-hmm. Right? Some of them being molested by the family members. Is it because they're attractive? Yeah, that's no, true. because they're there. Oh, that's probably true. Right? Oh, how it about this? It has nothing though? to do with. Huh? To completely twist it, mm-hmm. the raper is really attractive. Do you discount that story then? No. 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 Super good looking guy. Some good looking guy think they can get away with it. Jeffrey Dahmer was, mm. wasn't he supposedly it's a good not looking guy? It means they won't be the rapist. Mm. You still have to go evidence based. With yep. charisma and money. They, now Jeff they're more likely. Right? Charisma <laughs> and money. Go figure that but, story. but are you changing the odds? No, I feel like you just need to go off the, the facts. You're not shifting on appearance at all. You shouldn't, no. Well, but, no, no, what if the case is he said, she said, and you have nothing else? Well, that that's the problem with rape cases is there's not enough yeah. facts, so you probably that's, have to... That's, that's not guilty and too proven. Yeah, mm. that's about to say. That's, unfortunately, that person is not guilty then. Cause you, yeah, that's you the problem evidence, with, that's that's the problem with rape yeah. in general is it's hard you, to prove. You, you okay, what about the other way? This dude is creepy as fuck. Like, just like, he has face tattoos, number one. <laughs> what <laughs> yeah. is wrong with you? No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. face hold on. tattoos, the podcast. Hold on. This is a he said, she said. Okay. okay. This guy has face tattoos. Uh-huh. Bald at 17. Bald at, that's unfortunate. Five foot three. Uh-huh. And then the girl is a 10 out of 10. And she's saying rape. Once again, I, I, you have to go off of story. what facts you have. I, You're, it, he says no, it was consensual. So there is uh, evidence that it happened, that the something happened. Mm-hmm. Okay, something happened. Something happened. Okay. He says no, it was consensual. Okay. Although he looks creepy as fuck, one out of ten. Uh-huh. Girl is ten out of ten. Uh-huh. You're going, well, I don't have the facts. Yep. Yeah, you, I mean... That's kind of the point of the... He, he's on welfare. He's on welfare. Okay. Innocent and too proven guilty. He has no charisma. Who cares? Okay, I just... You gotta go with the facts, I man. guess technically, you, if you're 100% rational, or 100% if, if on you, the facts... You, if you're sending someone behind a bar for like I, 10 years, you better have some evidence. Okay, okay. But, okay, let's take it to this. Mm-hmm. Behind the bar, like, yeah. Okay. But you personally, mm-hmm. are you thinking, like OJ, but he probably did it. Yeah, you you can have your own personal beliefs of what you think happened. Are you? Th- but you but need to make you, your judgment based on the evidence. Are you shifting it based on their appearance? You are based. Oh yeah, because we we have personal bias, right? Chloe just shook her head. No, you think? I don't think, think that's plausible? true. I think she's gonna have personal bias, yeah, whether I she think... likes it or not. If I well, if okay, I look okay. at the guy and like no way that girl's I, ever sleeping okay. with that guy Fine. in a million years, Fine. I say yeah he probably have, did it. I have personal preferences, but if I'm in the position of determining whether this guy gets ten years in prison, yeah, then I shouldn't use my own judgment. But uh, it's, I'm, it's I'm my own preference. It's really hard to have that disconnect though, where you personally think he probably is a rapist. You're just proving our point of why they should. Have then blind things because we're gonna have. I know, I know. You can't just pull anyone to be a jury. This is a system that I'm against. You, you, you can't have I know. anyone. Hold on. <laughs> but I'm saying, Zach, you just said 
I would think he probably did it, right? Yeah, but I can recognize that that's just a personal bias. Like an inherent I know, bias. but... But, okay, you're in the jury room. Do you feel a little guilty letting a rapist off? Well, who you, you are pretty sure is a rapist. I'm not pretty sure. I'm saying I will lean more towards maybe he a did one out of it. ten a ten out of ten and she's saying not consensual and he's saying totally consensual well i, I don't know some, she could be doing it for attention she could be doing it to get back at him i don't know mm. there's plenty of things that can happen to where that no happen. but it, well okay she could have she could have actually been consensual then claimed later yeah exactly yeah. and she uh-huh. could do it just because she's embarrassed because it is such a <laughs> that <laughs> come person, on you know i'm not I mean? buying that one why? Or I'm just saying she, she could. Handsomely. Oh. She and was she, really slumming she, it? No. Yeah. It could maybe be she like was, she was Maybe they were both drinking at the nicely. time she had some beer and goggles on. She didn't actually I get was, the money afterwards. I was really impressed by his mobile home in the trailer park. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. <you laughs> even though know. I, even though I am from a very wealthy family, <laughs> I, I maybe she was slumming from Harvard. it. Maybe that was the point. Maybe she was slumming it. You but don't he, know. He's also a one out of ten. <laughs> with I mean, that's the whole. Tattoos. That just really just proves the whole problem with rape cases is like the evidence yeah. is so little. It's it yeah. almost always word versus word. Yeah. Which is sad, but the, that's the truth of it. That's yeah. Why you and I can always say... be more cautious. Yeah. Yeah. So it's somewhat on you to make sure that it can never be a he said she said like. Yeah. yeah. Don't well, go how do you do in, that? alone in the room. But the, yeah, it's, then it's hard to like. Do you change do, society for that? Do not put too much initial trust on someone that you don't really know. Mm. Yeah. Right? Is it that hard? Mm. Human does it for thousands of years. I don't know. It's tough. How does it, how did they do that in the uh, medieval time? No, do what in medieval time? Just don't have sex. <laughs> Huh? Well, in medieval, medieval time, people just got raped, I think. Yeah, I think there's a lot of raping <laughs> going on. I don't... I think through most medieval but then again, human like, history, there's a lot of rape. No, yeah. but then again, in, in what Nick yeah, said, pretty like, much. really rich, beautiful, aristocrat lady yeah. had consensual sex with a farm, one out of ten guy. Can it happen? Yeah, probably not. Exactly. <laughs> That's why mm-hmm. I think they probably would have been like, yeah, throw them, hang them. Yeah, well, I mean, that yeah. probably happened that way, too. <laughs> 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 All right, well, I got to get to bed. It's 1230. All right. All right. All that right. was a good one, though. Uh, send it to me. All right. Yeah, I will. Yeah. Later. Right. Later. Later. Later.